All right, so let us look at the numbers parallel problem and number spiral uh, is an infinite grid whose upper left square has number one and here are the first five layers of the spiral all right so number spiral sp starts with one and it goes on how it goes on let us look at that this is a number spiral of five cross five if you follow this yellow line you could directly see a spiral like a snake it is there you start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 13 14 15 and it goes like this and further it will go like this 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 36 30 then 37 38 39 40 41 40, and it will go on like this so this is the number spiral our task is we need to find a number in the row y and column x for instance they have given 2 and 3 that means 2 is the row and th 3 is the column let us see 1 this is first this is second so second row and 1 2 3 third column so we will be here so this is this we have to print they will give the row and column and we need to print the digit corresponding to this row and column let us look at the bigger macros which i drew and this is 9 cross 9 and these are rows and these are columns now this is a number spell if you follow along the arrows 1 2 3 4 then 4 then 5 then 6 7 then 8 9 10 11 12 and this will keep on going like this like this so if and let us do some observation before that let us make our legend this row is y and column is x this, this means this is y and x is this columns now the this is a uh, something like a pattern problem you can guess it from here since because they will only give us this input is number of test cases and then they are going to give the corresponding row and column and we need to give the digit so if these digits can be very large as we need to find some pattern to so these pattern problems in mattress can be dealt with row column index means you need to take the help of these to grab that number and you can work with this various type you can make row and co column equal this can be a diagonal you are working on main diagonal you can make row bigger than column and then think less even row even this odd and vice versa so these are the some uh, suggestion which we can do on this pattern problems let us look at them one by one so let's start with uh, simple when row and uh, column are equal that means when x and y are equal that means let's catch hold of this number this is how can we get this if we square any one number let's say 2 to the 4 and subtract 1 we can get this so this subtraction of 1 we have to do let's let's hold off another 3 and 3 so when if we square 3 is an and subtract 1 hmm this is not working hmm we need to think more this is 8 and we need 7 so we need to subtract one more 
let's take off another let's say this 4 4 just 16 and here we, we have to do 3 subtraction of 1 all right can you can you figure out something from here when when it was 2 when x and y was 2 then what we did 2 to the 4 minus 1 this 1 can be formed by subtraction of this 2 minus 1 when x and y was 3 then 3 is a 9 minus we did 2 uh, subtraction right this and this so this can be done 3 minus 1 so we'll get 2 and 7. When x and y are 4, then 4 4 is a 16 minus we did 3 subtraction. That means 4 minus 1 we can write. So when x and y are equal, we can make this formula. We can deduce from this observation. You can put x or y any because they both are equal. Now let's look more. We have used one uh, diagonal. Now let's do when rho is greater than column. When y is greater than x. That means rho is greater than column. So let's catch any number. Mm, let's take this one. 4. Because this, these are rows and these are columns. So and uh, let's take this as 2. So 4 is greater than 2 and if this is then we are arriving at 15 all right so how can we arrive at 15 directly we can do 4 4 j 16 minus 1 hmm. okay let's increase one more let's uh, this is 15 and we arrive at the solution means one subtraction we did now let us look uh, at when y is 4 and x is 3. Here is still y is greater than x. So 4 and 3 that means we are now at here 14. So we should get 14. 4 4 is 16 minus 1 50 minus 1. 14 we did two subtraction okay so hmm. so this is working this is working but you see i have fixed uh, four if i do the same logic for five is it working for five and two so when y is five and x is two here is still y is greater than x the same logic Uh, 5 5 5 is a 25 and minus 1 we did minus 1 for this condition so we will do the minus 1 for this this is 24 and this is 18 so it is not working when y is 5 and let's say now y is 6 y is 6 x is 2 is still x, 6 is greater than 2 that means 6 is a 36 minus 1 so 35 and yeah it is working mm -hmm. that means it is working when y is greater than x and y is also even all right so let us deduce something again again we should see for uh, let's say 8 8 and 2 so 8 and 2 y is 8 and x is 2 then 8 is 64 minus x minus 1 so 64 minus 2 minus 1 that is 63 and let's say now y is 4 so now 4 4 just 16 minus x minus 1 i will do that means 2 minus 1 that is 16 minus 1 15 and 4 and 2 15 so it is working finally we can say when y is greater than x and y is even we can formulate this formula. Now, 
then y is even then we should reduce something for when y is odd for y is odd let's take and y is greater than x so y is odd and let's catch hold of this y is 3 x is 2 and y is greater than x and y is odd hmm. how can we go on this too if i again do something 3 3 is a 9 minus 2 it will give 7 no if i reduce this now y if i try to reduce y and make it less and make it y minus 1 that is 2 so 2 2 is a 4 and 4 and i add this plus 2 and this is 6 see these pattern you need to just do some hit and trial method to come to uh, decrypting of the pattern and this is working actually and let's check for another one when y is 5 for y y is 5 x is 2 and we should get 18 so i'm what i'm going to do y minus 1 this will give 4 4, 4 square is 16 plus 2 because this x plus x that means this will give 18 and we are arriving so this is what we can write and i also tried it many times and then we came to this conclusion so this is yeah this takes a little bit of time now when now i can give you something uh, when y was greater than x we formulated this now when y would be le less than x don't you think the, there would be so, uh, only some changes in in these in these we don't have to reduce it again from scratch meaning when x is greater than y and x is even so basically what i'm saying opposite of this condition i i wrote opposite same condition i wrote this so maybe i should write this one and in place of y i will write x because x is now bigger so x minus 1 is square plus y i will do because this is now becomes opposite it becomes mirror image of the other one so let us check first when x is greater so let's let's pick x uh, let's split plus here and x is even so let's take this and x is 4 y is 3 that means this x and y if i put here 4 minus 1 square plus 3 so 3 3 is a 9 plus 3 that will give us 12 so it is working and similarly when x is odd means this will write this condition but in x and y changed and we arrived at this so now let us code this and check so the first line contains the number of test cases so let's get make it long long for safer condition lt is 0 and we'll get take the test case from the user number of test case and put in while loop t minus minus so this loop will work until t becomes zero now we need to for, uh, each containing integer y and x that means we need to accept row and column so ll x equals zero this is for x is for column this is for column and ll y this is for row and let's take a intermediate variable result for doing in intermediate calculation 
now we have to do simply this if x is equal to y that means if x is equal equal y then what we need to do we need to square and subtract so let's do the squaring separately so this is x into x and we'll display the result by subtracting this x minus 1 and give a new line so that the next next test case is printed on a new line now let's do for else if if that's not condition if else if if uh, y is greater than x y is greater than x then perform something what we need to do we need to check y is even so if y mod 2 is equal equal 0 then then again we can use the, this variable only and y square y into y and display result minus x minus 1 with x minus 1 and now and else we can simply write y minus 1 square that means the result will be result will be minus 1 into y minus 1 and display see out uh, result result plus x this we are done now we have to do for this the conditions are just reverse so we can write else here and we'll check we can copy this directly from here if here x if x is even then x minus 1 is square that means we have to basically copy this one here i will write x minus 1 is square x minus 1 is square and will write plus y and else in the other part will copy this one and y y will write x x and y save it and let's submit here number spiral pen submit and showing a wrong answer i don't know why but let us check why is this showing the wrong answer so we didn't to uh, took this uh, input from the user and this column and uh, first uh, what they are asking y and x so we haven't accepted here from the user this mistake we did all right so let's submit it is accepted okay so we'll meet you in the next video